We are here at Atlanta Market with a guest that needs probably no introduction. Carson Cressley is our special guest today, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what's going on behind the scenes in his yep. life and then also what he's doing here at Market. It's so good to see you. Thank you. It's great to be seen. We're excited. I love it. We're excited. I'm all dressed up because I have a formal event. I don't normally come to you Market do. in a Tom Ford tuxedo, but... Um, <laughs> That's, we appreciate you were it. wondering at home, so that's why. <laughs> we appreciate it. Well, first of all, let's tell everybody what's mm -hmm. going on with you. Talk what's about what you're doing. What's going on with me? Um, I try to do a little bit of everything. And um, uh, design is always my focus. I love interior design. I love fashion design. Um, and, of course, I started out doing that with Queer Eye for the Straight Guy and Get a Room with me and Tom Felicia. Uh, but I work in TV in a lot of different mediums. I'm doing a food show right now on Food Network. It's called Barbecue Brawl. It's on yes, every Monday yes. at 9. And uh, people are like, how did you get into food? I was like, I've been eating since I was a baby. <laughs> so I'm just a good taster with yes, good taste. Absolutely. Um, and then very lucky to be involved with um, RuPaul's Drag Race. It's been a worldwide phenomenon. Absolutely. And um, we are, uh, I think our, seven, our 16th season just aired. And our 10th season of All Stars, I think, is airing now. It's on Paramount Plus. You can stream it. Um, so that's kind of been keeping me busy. And then some really exciting design projects um, that I can't yet talk about, but we'll have a big announcement very soon uh, about a possible collaboration. We're going to bring you back here yeah, for please. that announcement. <laughs> yes, please. I love Atlanta Market. So let's talk about the intersection of fashion and home. Yes. We've, done, we've had a discussion about that yeah. previously. Yeah. Talk a little bit about how you think fashion informs home and, and then, I, I think design is design is design. And I think the goal of great design is to express your personality. And when you dress, um, you wear your favorite colors, you wear the things that feel good on your body, you accessorize with things that maybe you've collected on your travels or just heirlooms or things that you just like and they bring you joy. It's the same for your home. Um, albeit some things are a little more expensive and clunkier, <laughs> like a sofa or a bed, but um, you know, you invest in great basics, a great bed, a great dining table, a great sofa or couch. Um, and then you have fun with accessories, like throw pillows, rugs, plants, green things, accessories, artwork. And that's, you know, how I tell people to build their wardrobe at home and also how to build their, the look of their actual living space. Um, so it just goes back to expressing your personality and having fun with it. And also, like my biggest overall design mantra that I think informs that intersection is that buy what you love and it's, gonna, it's going to work because you love it. Absolutely. Yeah. And now you're here at Market and you're going to talk about trends in outdoor. Now, before yes. we go down that path, yes. I know you've got some interesting outdoor elements in your own home. So tell our viewers about that. I do. I mean, I'm also a collector and I think all the spaces um, that I design, which are mostly for myself and friends and family, um, look collected and tell that personal story. And I approach outdoor design the same, as I, the same way as I would approach indoor design. It's, you know, color, texture, scale, um, things that you love, collectibles, antiques, things that are one of a kind. So um, I'm lucky enough to have two outdoor spaces. I have a terrace at my apartment in New York. I have some great seating. I have some beautiful planters. I have boxwoods. I have fig trees, um, which should be dying up there, but they're lit thriving. Um, and then at the farm in Pennsylvania, I have some vintage pieces. I have an amazing Wayland a uh, cast iron dining set that's powder coated, a uh, hunter green. I have lots of greenery. I think every room, whether indoors or out, should have greenery. Very easy to do when it's outdoors. Um, lots of textiles. I have a kind of a design theme on my patio at the farm right now, which is a blue and white chinoiserie kind of thing. Nice, yes. So a lot of my pots are that. I have a blue and white rug. Um, I have some black and white cabana stripes. So it's really it's layered, it's eclectic, and um, there really aren't any rules. I have some old stuff, some new stuff, and you just kind of um, edit it so it all works. I have mirrors, I have lamps. The horse. I have a big giant wrought iron horse That's by my pool. Yes, I have sculpture, yes. I have artwork. Um, so it's a little bit of everything, but design outdoor spaces like you would design indoor spaces, but with materials, of course, that are made for the outdoor elements. And we were talking, I know, a little bit earlier about um, how health and wellness yes. and sustainability and this whole idea yeah. of 
this has really infused the consumer market at this point. Yeah. So how do you think that lifestyle preference is going to inform a lot of what we see here. Well, I do think that ever since the pandemic, we've realized that outdoor spaces are really important. Uh, we've also realized that we have more outdoor space maybe than we realized we had, and we've started to learn how to activate those spaces. Uh, being outside, being outdoors is in general, you know, a healthy thing. You're getting fresh air and sunlight. Um, so that's, you know, just being out there is the first step. And then, um, Sustainability, for example, um, uh, there's a great brand called Pollywood. They make their outdoor furniture out of recycled plastic bottles from milk and soda and things like that. So that's a great way. If you're going to buy new stuff, it's wonderful to buy stuff that um, is environmentally sensitive, like a recycled product. It's great to have uh, plants that help the environment. Great to have pots with maybe tomatoes or some of your favorite produce. If you can get a couple items of fresh food from your own outdoor space, that's incredible. Um, so those things, I think, um, lend towards being more sustainable. And certainly there's recycled uh, plastics that you can find in rugs and cushions and pillows. You can buy vintage. You don't have to always buy new. And I know we like to push new things here at market and new is fun and it's fresh and it's fashion. But you can also pepper in some things that may be um, have been loved once before and you can give it new life. And that's so helpful for the environment. The amount of water and gasoline and all those things that it takes to bring a product to market um, is cut down when you throw in a vintage piece or two. Total story. So let's talk. You are dressed to the night. Yes. You are ready for the gala. Talk about the gala. Yeah, the casual furniture gala is tonight. And I was thinking, I don't, uh, what does one wear? And they said, well, it's black tie. And I said, well, that's not very casual. Um, I don't know how, what the furniture is going to think about that. But it is a great night to um, honor people in the industry. Uh, my experience with the interior design world, the furniture industry, the casual furniture industry, uh, I've been so impressed how people give back. Yes. Um, and market happens several times a year. But these organizations are really about honoring people who give to the industry and also give to their communities. Um, they provide jobs and resources and support. And during the pandemic, so many companies shifted gears and we're making masks and making sure their company stayed open and people had jobs. So it's really about honoring people in the casual furniture industry that do things uh, that are very impressive even outside of our furniture world. Tell us about your keynote. Uh, so tomorrow, I'm so flattered to even be asked to do a keynote and it's really about trends in outdoor living and what I see uh, on the landscape, pun intended. And my friend Patty from Trendscope is going to be uh, moderating. We're going to play some fun games about what's hot and what's not. But really the focus of it is to talk about um, how I'm designing outdoor spaces and the products that I use and uh, things that we just talked about, sustainability, um, adding vintage pieces, um, creating, you know, those outdoor rooms with lamps and rugs and artwork and mirrors. So it's really just um, my take on how to create really personal, fun, activated outdoor spaces from tiny little patios to big giant poolscapes. Well, we can't wait to hear more. You never know who you're gonna run into here at Market, so stay tuned for more information. I'll probably wear a bikini for the keynote. <laughs>